So now that you've played with the ands and the or functions, one of the things that we can also do, and if you're really feeling froggy, is we can actually place an if function inside of an if function. What craziness, right? How we do this is basically the same operation as before. We would do the exact same kind of concept. Now for our uh, textbook, we're looking at the bonus amount. We're saying, uh, based on their preferential rating, how much of a bonus should they get? Well, if you want to cheat, you can come over here into the X column and you can see uh, if you get a rating of one, you get no bonus. If you get a rating of a two, hey, you get uh, 2,500. Rating with a three, ah ha ha, you get excellent service. So again, we go through the same song and dance. We start off with my if statement. Now again, the first thing I need to look at is my perf rating. And we want to see, does it equal one? Now, the first thing you're noticing is I'm seeing a lot of falses going on here. And it's true. It's because a lot of people are not going to be a rating of a one. Let's just kind of see that in action. You see, oh, I've got one right here. So I've only got one. Now, if it's true, if they get a rating of a one, I give them a zero bonus. Now, how do I reference that? I don't just type in zero, I come over here and I'll put it in. Now I am going to absolute value that. But now we get into the more complex portion. We get into here, because obviously as you can see, we have a two and a three. So suddenly I have to go, oh well, uh, does the preferential rating, uh, performance rating, sorry, uh, does it equal two or three? So. Again, if we think about an if statement, an if statement has a logic test. What happens if it's true? What happens if it's false? So I come in here and I put in another if statement. Now inside of here, I'm doing the exact same thing I was doing a second ago. I want to check the performance rating and see if it is equal to two. If it is, you notice I see some falses there. If it is equal to true, then I want to give them the rating, the bonus of 2,500. If that is false, we're using the process of elimination here and making the assumption that you can only be one of three potential ratings. So all of a sudden, as you can see, that three that I had here, it's going to be 75. As soon as I hit OK, every single one of my employees now has their specific bonus rating by using this nested if structure.